Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a makeup look for you guys and I decided to do kind of like a greenish kind of purpley in the crease look for you guys with a nude lip and I thought this would be perfect for the winter time since we are jumping in to the colder seasons now so I thought this would be perfect for that but let's just jump right in. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is my foundation and I'm going to be using two foundations and I am going to be using my MAC Pro Longwear foundation and my Revlon Color Stay foundation. I'm just going to be mixing them together and then you're just going to want to dot this all over your face to get full coverage all over your face because you don't want any flaws. So that's what we're doing right here. And then I'm also using my Beauty Blender. I seriously love my Beauty Blender. It's like amazing. I haven't used a makeup brush in so long since I've been using my Beauty Blender. I seriously love it. It's like my holy grail item. It's the one thing that I feel like if you're going to splurge on something, you should definitely splurge on the Beauty Blender. I cannot say enough good things about it. I seriously love it so much. So... Basically, you're just going to want to make sure all your foundation is all blended out with this. So this is like the longest process I feel like for me whenever I'm doing my makeup is my foundation because I really want to make sure it's all blended out and I have no lines or anything like that. So that's just what I'm doing there. And then we're going to move on to concealer. I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and I'm going to be putting it underneath my eyes and also on my cupid's bow, chin, nose, and center of my forehead to get that really nice highlighted face area lift kind of going on there so that's what I'm basically doing I just blended out really good with the beauty blender and it looks really nice I love a really strong highlight underneath my eyes so once you're done blending everything out you're gonna want to be ready because you're gonna have to set your highlighted areas and I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit and I'm gonna be using those two colors right there the yellow and the light color and we're just gonna be setting our highlighted areas that we did before and then you're gonna want to set the rest of your face and with that I'm gonna be using this MAC prep and prime translucent powder to set everything else that you didn't set with your highlighted points of your face so you're just gonna want to set everything with a big brush and get all your areas so you don't have anything that's going to be oily everything you want everything to be matte and then we're going to go back with the contour kit and i'm going to be using those two colors right there to contour my face and i'm going to be contouring my cheeks jawline and my temples so this is a really basic contour i feel like i'm just doing some minor contouring to my face just to uh, warm it up because I feel like without it I'm just really flat. So you're just going to want to warm up your face and get under your jawline and on your temples and then really blend this out so you don't have any harsh lines. And I really like this contour kit for this. It's perfect. I've been using it for a while now. And now I'm moving on to blush. This is so exciting. I love this blush. This is from Too Faced and it's called Love Hangover and you guys the packaging is seriously amazing. Like they went best packaging award for sure now when I put this on my face I felt like it was too bright so then I decided to blend this out and the blending capabilities of this blush is actually really good I felt like it blended super nice and seamless and now on to highlight you guys if you want a really nice like really highlighted highlighter this is the one for you it's Becca's Moonstone it's amazing I seriously love it and I love highlighting my face it's like my favorite part of like all my looks so now moving on to eyes, we're going to be using the Lorac Pro 2 palette. I'm going to be using that really nice peachy shade called Nectar. And we're just going to be putting this in our crease. And you want to start off your crease with a nice transition shade. So when you go in with a darker color, it's nice and seamless. So I'm just packing that on my crease to get it started. And I love this shade. It's so beautiful. And now moving on to color pop eyeshadows. I'm going to be using this holiday collection set. And it's called Blitzed. And I'm going to be starting off using this uh, green color in the middle called thirsty girl this color is so beautiful I saw it and I instantly knew that I was gonna do a look with it I was like oh my god I cannot wait so I'm just gonna be patting this on my lid basically all over my lid except for my inner corner and this eyeshadow formula is perfect for your finger it really packs on the color and now we're gonna be moving on to that white color right there and I'm just going to be putting this on my inner corner and slowly, kind of surely, blending it in with that green color because they blend 
beautifully together. They look so nice and I'm also putting that on my lower lash line as well and then just gonna keep packing it on until I get my desired brightness. I seriously love it so much and now I'm gonna be moving on to the Glorac Pro 1. I'm gonna be taking that mauve color. As you can see I hit pan. I love it so much and I'm just gonna be darkening up the crease some more and adding some more purple into the crease as well because this is kind of like a greenish purpley kind of look and then I'm gonna be just going in with that thirsty girl green color again and I'm gonna be putting that on my lower lash line and you really want to concentrate this in the middle to get the most color there because you want it to pop and then I am just blending it in with the um, white color and then I'm gonna be also going on to the outer corner and I'm using mauve just to connect everything and make sure everything is blended together so now we're gonna be moving on to lashes I'm gonna be using two mascaras I'm using benefits the real and YSL shocky mascara and you're just gonna want to put this on your lashes your top and bottom lashes and uh, you can just build this up to whatever desire lashes you want and I really like this combo. I feel like it works really well with my lashes. And now moving on to lips. I'm going to be using this ColourPop lipstick. This is like my favorite lipstick currently. I've used it a couple times now. And I am just... It's... I'm in love. And it's this color called Trapped. It's perfect. It's like a really pretty nude color slash gray color. It's just perfect for the winter time. So that's pretty much it for the look. That's all the products that I use. This is kind of what it looks like. I really like it. I think it's perfect for the winter time because it's... You got that purple and then you also have like a cool tone nude color for your lips. It's just perfect. And I hope you guys like this voiceover. I felt like my channel was getting a little boring so I wanted to spice it up with giving you a voiceover so I hope you guys liked it and I'll see you guys in my next video bye